Hello everyone, it is Stang and welcome to the last plant haul pre-order. What is it? Last pre-orders plant haul of the year. So those of you who are new, I am Canadian and I live in Canada and I am an importer reseller for Canada. Um, usually I bring intensive areas, different types of succulents, you know, euphorbias, monodeniums, cacti, those kind of stuff for us Canadians to enjoy. Unfortunately, I only ship to Canada, within Canada. Anyways, okay, so this is the very last plant haul of the year, which means that once this is done, I am able to do other videos because it's been a long year for me. It's been a lot of anxiety. Um, if you've if you've been here before, you know that um, I've been doing this for about four years now, and this year is the biggest one of them all we've pretty much brought in about seven thousand plants versus i think last year was like about close to five thousand so this year has been a lot of plants a lot of varieties of plants that was brought in so i'm gonna show you what we got it was a quick order um i think i closed it around like 650 plants <sighs> what came in is about a thousand plants so <laughs> oh uh we'll talk about those Hoyas in another video, but oh, I, I just I just took a shower and I got a hair cute. My hair is cute. Anyways, um, let's go check out the plants. Okay, but before we do, this is a mound of uh, toilet paper that comes in every single time. Usually, there's like a little bit more, a little bit higher, um, and this is the reason why you should not go crazy for toilet paper. It is easily produced, especially in Canada. Um, yeah, y'all are crazy people if you hoard toilet papers instead of canned foods and water. Always hoard canned food and water in case of an emergency, right? Never toilet paper. Anyways, okay, so you're gonna see um, our living room. There's my feet. Everybody, look, see, I can, I can like walk on my toes. But anyways, besides that, here are the plants. They've already been sorted and counted for. Usually it's a lot more. Usually I have like about 2,000. It just covers the whole entire place. But I guess, you know, it's the end of the year and it's still fine to ship. Don't worry, I've been doing this for so long. I know the weather, how the weather's like. And it's still fine to ship. Okay. Um, I'm not taking any more requests. So anybody who messages me, unfortunately, I cannot reply for your, I would like to buy this, like to buy that. I see this, I like that. I cannot help you anymore. Okay, so when we start, these are Sensevaria. Uh, what, what is this? Oh my god. Pagoda striatas. Yeah. I don't have one of these, apparently. I don't know why. I, they're so beautiful. Look. They're beautiful, right? Yeah. Pagoda striatas. These are Sensiveria nalika. Right? This is a Sensiveria honey gold mutations or full variegated. That's what they call it, full mutation. But it's actually honey full variegated. Um, this is a honey gold very beautiful right and then you got some tsunamis twister sister tsunamis it used to call they used to i used to call them twister sister tsunami but i just call them tsunamis now what else uh these are sensevaria green mold or green gold very beautiful so instead of like this right the leaves are smooth and you don't get those white mutations like those stripes those streaks very very beautiful you got some gold flames down here then i believe you got some gold banners or super ball they're very similar but you can tell them apart and then you got some golden prostate which i keep pronouncing prostate i'm sorry it's it's literally it's it's if you type it out like you you'll literally pronounce it prostate instead of prostate it's prostate not prostate oh yeah so these are golden banners i know because these ones are super balls right here very beautiful they oh, they look almost similar almost similar but they're not and this is a um, Sensevaria Pagoda Margiana so I usually have to separate something that looks very similar or else like I mix them up so that's why there are different places um, these are Guinnesses Vergara's you got some Cordova's very beautiful very big Cordova's that came in yellow stripe right here very beautiful too uh, these are Parvalancet yellow and Parvalancet white here. Rosalia. These are Gracilliema. Very nice big size that came in for their price. Actually, very, very big size for their price. 
Um, oh, these are blue leaf down here. These are blue leaves. Uh, sorry. No, so this is, I believe this is a Rorita. Yep, this is a Rorita, you can tell. Rorita. Uh, blue leaves are down here. Because they're blue, they look like blue leaves. Simple, right? Right. Oh, and these are Sensivere Macrophylla Vergata. Very beautiful. Look how nice they are, right? Look how nice they are. Oh my god. Oh my god, dang, they're so nice and beautiful. I mean, no, I didn't get one for myself. It's okay, I have too many of them. These are the white whale fins. White whale fins. Uh, you got the pina, cu culi, pina coladas. Pina gui gui, I can't pronounce. I could never pronounce the name on, on screen. I can never pronounce the name on screen. Uh, sense of error patterns right here. Arborescence. You got some fishery right here. You got some Thai hybrids down here as well. You got, oh, these are regular Super Balls from my yard itself. Yeah, I have some, some of them in my yard. Midnight Fountain, absolutely beautiful. How nice that is, right? Um, I'm going through some of them really quick because some of them are not spectacular. They don't look spectacular, so there's no points. Um, oh yeah, these are Francis's. Mine's gigantic. So these are yellow one. There's a white one here. So there's a yellow and white. You can tell the difference between the two. White, yellow. White, yellow. Yeah, mine's like, like two feet tall, two and a half feet tall. It's pretty huge. Some arborescence, and then you got some uh, Labranos 23251. Very beautiful stuff right here. Yeah. There's another one here as well. Labranos 23251. Okay. <laughs> Cardi B. Cardi, Cardi, Bacardi. Bacardi, Bacardi. These are Sensivere Bananas. Because they look like. These are called uh, Sensivere Ebingeri Bananas. Bananas. Katanas are here. Very beautiful. I honestly recommend these ones if anybody buy them. Because I have a huge one myself. Uh, silver plushes are right here. Uh, Cordova X Multimo. Orange. These are huge this time. I remember when they came in, they were smaller the first round, but they're huge. Uh, these are Sensiveria uh, Moonshine Brazilian. Yeah, they got lucky because these ones are crested. They, there's a ton of them, and the other one's crested, which is actually more spectacular, but whatever. Um, this is a Sensiveria Blue Clone, I can believe white. Mine's huge now. You get Sweet Sally right there and Lady Gaga's. Yeah, these three are called Lady Gaga's. And Sweet Sally's right here as well. Okay. And then you got some Silver Blues here. Mm-hmm. You got some uh, Sense of Air Moonshine Varagatas. And then you got some Cleopatra's. Yas Queen! Cleopatra. So those are the major Sense of Area stuff. And now I guess we're gonna show you some other sense of area. It might be a little bit darker. I think my camera can focus. It should it should focus. We got some what is this? Messiana yellow. Messiana itself. So regular whale fin, white whale fins over there, yellow whale fins right here. I think these are called Congos. Um, these are called well, they're actually called rosettes, but I call them bonsai because they're small, but they're actually called rosettes. Um, well, now they're, they, they've been renamed to rosettes. 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 Um, these are... What are these? Euphobia something cristadas. They came in as well. Euphobia lobosa pososa. Explososa, whatever. Those came in. Valida, the Montadanium Robella came in really actually a lot nicer this time versus last time, but you know, you can it, it will still do this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I have a big one of this, it's very beautiful. I recommend these ones if anybody buys them. Um, Haworthia, sorry, my hands jittery because I'm getting old. Tessalata. Mutation, very beautiful. I've never seen these ones before. Um, Astrolobat Tyson. I don't know why nobody buys them. 
but they become very very beautiful especially in stress they turn like reddish right um these ones as well haworthia kinko something kinkiness yes haworthia kinkiness i i i forgot its name um and you're probably like dang why don't you remember the name dude i got a lot of plants to remember <laughs> i know what they look like and i know their name but i can't pronounce them okay these are Rutetsa fulvergatas. Okay. Um, these are, this is a Rutetsa hybrid. It's a little smaller. It looks a little bit different than the regular ones, but these are hybrids. Okay. Um, this is a Haworthia fasciata vergata. It's something, it's one of them, those ones that I do recommend getting if you can. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. This is a Pumilla Vergata, right? These are um, Haworthia Limifolia Hybrid Vergatas. Very beautiful. This is a um, Haworthia Magnifica Full Vergata. Very beautiful, right? These ones, I love these ones. These, these are called Auroras, but these are called, um, the original names are Haworthia Limifolia Ex Fasciata Vergata. Some, some, some of them call, are called um, Auroras, but whatever. I call them by its original name. It's easier for me to remember. These are Radulas. And one of the reasons why I tell people you shouldn't worry about variegation is because the pups comes out full variegated, comes out half variegated, comes out like whatever, right? You should never worry about variegation, like on the main plants. It's the baby ones that you should always worry about because like if they don't produce like variegated pup, there's no point. It's just like, ugh, whatever, right? Um, Limifolia variegata as well. Yeah, like I think my pure one is um, pooping out a half-half right now. So it's it's one of those things, you know, but no one ever like really takes my recommendation on it or whatever these are what are these called Rinwaldi's vergatas see like like this one's not variegated this one's like half variegated but like this one's more variegated right um that's it for that box i might fart because it's nighttime so if you hear a fart that's my cat not me <laughs> he's like sitting over there okay buddy Okay, these are Pasonii, Euphorbia Pasonii. So unfortunately, luckily some of these have retained their leaves, but um, some of them, all the leaves has fallen off. But that's very normal for these type of plants, right? Um, <clears throat> those type of plants to do that when they travel. This is a Mundadenium Ricci Variegatas. It's one of my favorite original penis plants. It's very ribbed for your pleasure if you choose, but please don't, don't be rough. Or you know what? I think the Pasoni eyes are better because they're less. No, I, I wouldn't use either or. If you do, you know, be a middle cat. What is it called? Sadistic middle cat. I don't remember. Use a lot of lube. Okay. Uh, what are these? Oh yeah, these are Gasteria castinana. Yeah, see what I mean about var variegation as well? The mother plant is not variegated, but look, it's producing like this pup, right? It's producing that pup. Like this is also variegated, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyways, this is a Mandia denium stevelli. It's also one of those plants also like when it travels, all the leaf usually falls off, but luckily this time it didn't fall off. So I'm super happy about that. Um, these are Euphobia pseudocactus, very nice. Those one came in, um, and this is a Aptunia, Aptunia um, reticula cobra. I really like it. I thought it was smooth, like a twink, but unfortunately, um, oh, where are you going? You're not going over there. Uh, oh, I guess it's auto auto panning. But unfortunately, at the top here, it has some little spikes. Like some little furs, right? Like you see that? Yeah, those goes in your thumb, through your fingers really badly. Versus these ones, so these are Circeus, um, 
Harvard Nova Monstrous Cristadas, they're fine. Like they, the, the, their little fur won't actually prick you versus those other ones. So these ones are really nice. They came in really nice this year. Um, they're very big this year, this time around. Very, very big. Like, like size queen big. If you're a size queen, mm, perfect plant for you. I'm no longer a size queen because I'm old these days. Okay, um, these are Crassula ovata. Um, lemon lime, lemon lime, lemon lime. I've taken care of some of them, so some of them already have roots. Lemon lime. So these are aloe green gold. Very beautiful in the summer. Mitformis is right here. Aloe black beauty. Black beauty. So the more light you give it, the more black it gets. Um, these are her, I don't remember. Strict six, I think. Yeah, one of those. Um, Crassula Morgan's Beauty, it's about to flower. Yeah. So it's about to flower. Enjoy. That's about to flower too. Uh, this is an aloe black gem variegata. Right. And then you get to the, what are these called? Oh, Gasterias. Gasteria Bassiana White. Very popular. Everybody loves that. Veracusa as well. Right. Very beautiful. And see, look at this. Look. Half variegated, full variegated pop. No one listens to me. No one. No one. Anyways, Bastiana, uh, one of those ones I recommend people getting as well. Very, very beautiful. Um, Nirkin's regular, who cares about that? Green, green Isis right there. Tiger Spot. Tiger Stripe. Um, these were popular when I first posted them. These are Gasteria Bungui. Bungua? Don't remember. Yeah, they were really popular when it came out. But I guess everybody has the nose or whatever. Um, these are Gastaworthia. Very beautiful as well. Absolutely gorgeous, right? <sighs> okay, hold up. My fat ass is moving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So these are, what is it, Silver Frost? They came in really nicely this time too. Like very nicely, like very nicely plumped. And these are Golden Wendy's. Everybody loves the Golden Wendy's. Golden Wendy Arches. Um, so these have a new name. They're called Honey Gaster. It used to be Honey Cristadas. But I guess they're called Honey Gaster now. Sense of very Honey Gasters. It sounds very weird. Honey Gaster. Mm, whatever. Uh, these are Sensevere Hybrid Kesha. Keshin. It's a huge one I have outside. It's very beautiful. So uh, 16 people order them. So congratulations, you're getting a very beautiful hybrid. I think it's it's like, um, what is it called? Sensevere Lady Charm X Bella Hybrid, yeah. This is the Streakers. Everybody loves a streaker. I haven't seen a streaker ever. I've actually never seen a streaker. <laughs> Whatever. This is an Aeonium Sunburst. Very beautiful. These are, um, what are, the, ow, 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 that hurts. This is a Euphoria Milii Fireworks or Splenda. Very beautiful. These, okay, so these are Ring of Gold. Let me show you. So this is a Agave Ring of Gold, right? Versus Magiana Cream. Looks extremely similar, except for, what are these called? They are much, much thicker and more prominent versus the one on the cream, right? So that's how you can tell the difference between the two. So if you're if you're new, you, you'll pretty much think they're, they're the same, but they're a little different. That's why I put them in different areas, so I know which one's which. So these are Trocanta, Carborthia Trocanta Lime Green, yep. Euphorbia milii cristatas are here. Sometimes they look like they're dead because that's how they travel. Haworthia starkiana, very beautiful hybrid. Uh, Her Hernia palensi um, cristatas, they're very soft. I really like them, they're very, very soft. This is my cat's fish toy. He doesn't like it because he's a little puffy. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about you. He's a scaredy cat. He really is. 
Um, what is? Oh, these are uh, um, Euphorbia povinadas. Fr that's uh, something with an F. Frutasias, whatever. Frutasias. Don't remember. Sorry. Okay. So these are agave um, cream. Agave cream. They're called agave regine cream. Um, agave potatorum margiana. No. Mediopicta, Mediopicta, because it's in the center. Cubic frost, oh, cubic. They're very sharp, I don't like touching them. Treadwinds, very beautiful. Burgundies right here. Uh, Hamasaki's right here. That's not its name, but I don't remember how to pronounce it. Pomilla's right here. I thought these were Sensiberries before, but they're not. These are very, very beautiful. Superbly beautiful. Don't remember its name, or don't remember how to pronounce its name. These are variegated um, Christmas cactus. They're very beautiful. I think the the flowers are pink. Mine came out pink flowers. Yeah, and these are green poop right here, or they're called Dacelia green dragon or Hoya green dragon. They look like green poop. Green poop. Everybody loves the green poop. Silver dollar coins are here as well. Hernia palencia. The regular ones right there. Um, Euphobia satotsa kirins right there. These came in. I don't remember what their name is. Um, Haworthia ritetsa giant. Haworthia xing meng. These are regular, regular uh, ritetsas. Vergatas right here. So this is called a Haworthia recendiana. Um, I've been after, I think, this hybrid for quite a while. And I mixed it up with a Glaberata. They kind of look almost the same, but these have thicker and rounder leaves. Um, yeah. Oh, and this is a gigantic Haworthia pomilla vergata. Someone ordered that one. Yay for them. Uh, what else is there? Oh, yeah. Okay. So these are, what are these? Um, agave Strictana. This is an Agave Titanota. Um, this is a Dikia, and that's a Crassula Moonglow. And these are for me. Um, I'll go through them in a moment, but I want to show you something. Some huge thing. Oh, wait, wait, no, hold on. Let me show you. This is a huge huge Sansevieria. This is for Sean. This is a Sansevier Robusta Variegata. Not a dwarf. This is a regular Robusta Variegata. It is huge. My mom loves it. My mom loves that thing, right? And then um, this one right here is a silver crown. No. A royal crown white Variegata or it's actually called a diamond crown. I've been after this for quite a long time, like quite a long time, right? I did put it up for sale um, and no one bought it. So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. It's pretty big too. It's like, it's huge, right? So I bought it for myself. Yay, congratulations. I know, right? Mm, I know. Oh, okay, so la second last, or third last, sorry, third, second. Oh, no, 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 we still have more. We still have more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, my brain is so, like, dead. I've, I've, I think it, I've taken, like, two days to finish organizing everything. Right? Oh, okay. Sorry. There's these ones. So this is an Allosomoliensis vergata. Mine's huge now. This is a um, Echeveri Paul Bunyan mutation. So it takes a lot of heat for it to like stay like that. All right, these are Dorsentia vergatas. Those are, these are the Superbum vergatas. Sublif Sublifsa vergatas. Monocretus is right there as well. Um, Edith Colia Grandis is right here, very beautiful. Some poop log that everybody loves and bought. I don't remember what it's called, um, but I, I actually kept the, 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 the crappiest one because 
It's not something I really want, but I do want it. Um, these are poop blocks as well. These are poop blocks. Echinoceus or something? Yeah, Echinoceus. I don't remember its name. Okay, um, these are something else for other people. Sorry. Those are something else. You're not supposed to look at them. Okay, so these are collector item stuff. And then we'll get to my things, okay? Um, these are Sensibare Futura. They're not really collectors, but you know, I just put them aside because they're in need. This is a Robusta Dwarf right here. Um, this is a Royal Crown. So there's two of them. Um, and they didn't have that much variegation, but I think my seller gave, sent, um, sent them with a good variegation anyway, right? Um, so this is a um, agave white rhino. This is a sense very cocoa, very beautiful cocoa variegata. This is actually very good variegation on this side, right? Uh, these are sense very uh, blue leaf regular variegatas. Same thing as here as well. Yeah, they're very sensitive. Like the the top leaf is very sensitive. That's okay. These are Sensiveria um, uh, Samurai Dwarf Vergatas. They're very beautiful. I have one too. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Um, this is an Agave Rum Runner Vergatas. Very beautiful, right? This is a um, Sensiveria. What baseball bat variegata? So only this was shown, but three of them came in. So congratulations, you guys! Congratulations. Um, this is a agave kaizen. So instead of white, it's actually yellow. But the white is more expensive than the yellow one. Interesting. Sean told me about this for a while, and then when it popped up in my cellar, he's like, I need to buy one of these. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the crappiest one for myself because it's not something I need in my life, you know. I always keep the crappiest one. This is a Kismayo. Ooh, yeah, no, no. This is the original Kismayo for Dina. Um, and everybody else wanted one, so everybody got one, but they're very different because they've been sourced out, so whatever. These are agaves. I don't remember its name, but they're agaves. This is a Sensiver Pingui Kula Black Vergata as well. Um, yeah, I was telling the buyer about this, you know, you shouldn't really worry about the variegation for the mother plants, right? Because the baby plants can produce, like I've shown you before, super beautiful variegation. And this is a regular variegated Pingu Kuilara cream version. See, it looks more green because there's less light. So the more light you give it, the more cream it gets. Uh, these are regular Robusta Dwarf Variegatas as well. So this is a small version of this. It, it just grows into it, right? Um, and these are Robusta Dwarf White Variegatas. Yeah, so that's those are the collector stuff which I have to send out as soon as possible because they're very expensive stuff. Okay, okay, and I guess lastly, my thing. We're going round and round in circles. Uh, we're going round and round in circles. Um, I got a banana, a bingery banana. Um, I got this because. I was so envious of the guys who got it last time. I don't remember what it's called. It's one of those pencil ones. It's a variegated one and it's like the variegation you can barely hardly see, but that's how they are, right? But I'm glad I have it. This is a Fufamon Delight Vergata. Very beautiful. Um, this is a Gastaworthia Vergata as well. It's just like this because there's a lot of sun, but you can see the variegation. It's very, very beautiful. Uh, Leo Bat Vergata right here. Um, yeah, I kept the crappiest Kaizen for myself versus the other guys where they got yellower ones. The Resendiana as well. Right, this is an Agave Filiferfia 
um, Mediopicta Vergata. Very beautiful. I got this Dryada one, but I like that one too. Um, I got some Lenore Dean or Compton Carousel. They're, those are going to die. Don't worry. Um, and I got this one too. So this is a different version. This is a different plant than this one. Okay. They're two different plants. They look the same, but they're two different plants. This one only grows singular. Well, this one grows like leafy, -leaf, you know? So and another one's coming out right here, which is cool. Um, what else? Oh, then I got a Euphobia. Um, finally, too, everybody's gotten one except for me. Medusa Crispata. Um, what else? Oh, I got a bunch of Hoyas. I'll show you later. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The poop poop log that uh, everybody got, I kept a, a small, tiny one for myself. Oh, and then I bought this too. You can barely see the variegation, but it's there. One of those Haworthia variegated one. And yeah. Uh, oh, this one came in for me too. That's beautiful. I don't remember. I think this is a uh, Porcellus or something. I don't remember. It died. It died one time when it came in, but I think it came in now. Yeah. So that is the, I believe that's it. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Oh, this is a Gastaworthia. Um, Gaster Aloe Varagata. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody got the bigger one. The nicer, bigger one. I kept the shittiest one for myself. I always do that. Okay. Oh, and this is a um, Echeveria Paul Bunyan Varagata. Very beautiful. Yeah, so that's it. That's it for the haul this year. Oh man, there's a lot of plants, right? There's a lot of plants. Oh, I want to show you what else I got. This is a beautiful plant that I got in. And I'm actually surprised the whole entire leaf is intact except this is a little bent right here, but that's okay. That's just that. Unfortunately, this leaf is like dying because it's dying, whatever. But it came in like that, it's fine. And I also got a Florida Beauty as well very beautiful and uh, we'll see how well they go i actually got a bunch of hoyas but we'll do the hoya in another video but anyways thank you guys so much for watching it's been a swell time showing you all of these beautiful beauties treasures uh that's coming in for us canadians and i guess i'll see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>